Uh, it's very dismaying or it's very annoying to know that uh, this Uda regime came into power just uh, a year ago. They have uh, presided over national exams. I think this was the second time. And we already have a second scandal. The first scandal was when we had um, A's in Kisi in a school that did not even score a C during the mocks. This time we had a school that uh, had uh, kids scoring 75 marks, all of them. Now again we hear that even the, the, the printing of the exams was less than uh, anything that can be termed as uh, having integrity. If the firm that was printing our exams was in the UK and was changed overnight to Mombasa Road, how was this procured? Are we going through another process like we did during the general elections when we did not know how the ballots were printed and we, were, we had more than one ballot? Uda regime is collapsing all the systems that were left intact by Uhuru Kenyatta. Today, we have no health insurance system that is functioning. You cannot talk about a functioning educational system. The support that was being given to the education uh, sector has collapsed. We do not know the system being used to fund at the university level. We have collapsed even the Rida Mama programs. The Kaji Kazi Kwa Vijana was corrupt. The issue of subsidies in the country was corrupt. Anything that was functioning has been collapsed. But what did we expect? If the person we thought that was going to help us has traveled out of this country now 43 times. Hata leo sijua kwa wapi? Nani anajua pale yuko? Alienda Pakistan ama Afghanistan? Afghanistan. He must have been somewhere. Yani, like I said before, he treats Kenya like a game reserve. He comes in the day to look at the animals and in the night he, he goes out of the country. We cannot wait for anything else from this regime. The only thing that we can do is to count the number of days left for them to go home. Yes. Na imebaki miakatatu, miesinane, na sikuine waodoke. Yes. We start counting the days and let them go away. No hope at all. The cost of living is increasing every day. The cost of doing business in this country is going up every day. Now he has decided to sell all our parastatos. Ameuza Masiwa, Auze KICC, Auze Seeds, Auze Eilet Tonight National, every, every institution that was meant to um, help in the event of something. Like NAC was supposed to come in to regulate the, fuel, the, the cost of fuel or the pricing of fuel in the country. Seeds, they are supposed to regulate the cost of seeds so that we are not exploited by the private sector. Anataka kutuzia private sector. Na hizi ni kampuni wanategeneza usiku kule Dubai, wanataka zija sinunue zetu hapa mchana. Kwa hivyo, sisi wa Kenya wote tukubaliane. Na hizi kitu ya kusema ati mchezo, Sasa ni kukubaliana kusema enough is enough. enough. Tukisema watoto waedi chule januari ama kitu kama hiyo. Kila mmoja awe tiali kuuga hilo jabu mko, mkono. Kwa sababu hawa watu watatuacha chakahora sisi wote. Lazima tuwakikiche hawa tusubui na hiyo jia. Asanteni sana. Thank you so much. The NADOC, uh, NADICO report. Nadiko report is, uh, is a flawed. Did it is, I said from the beginning that we are dealing with conmen and it has come to pass. One of the things about Hamjajua Iko Kwayo report, ni kwaba Senate, wamejiongeza miaka, wakae kure katika Senate kwa miaka saba. They are not supposed to come for elections after five years. Them it is seven years. To me, <laughs> ni kadiricha wamefuguria ruto, Ili yaweze pia kukaa katika ofisi ya, ya State House zaidi ya miaka mitano. Kwa hivyo hii report ni ya upusi. Hakuna kitu dani yake. Na he said that I was in that place and you cannot make any sense. Mukiongea, ichungu walikuwa nasema tu, akifuga macho, uhuru. Akifugua macho, uhuru. When he is owning, uhuru. Cho, uhuru. That guy is just nuts. That, that, that report 
anything useful in that report would have been found in the BBI in a more structured, a more reasoned manner and in a manner that we involve the public for everything. We cannot allow our constitution to be amended through the back door. Kama ni mambo ya mageusi ya Senate ama ya kuleta viti ya Prime Minister na Zigineo kwa mwananchi Rivaradam. That is where we, what we start for as Jubilee and that is why we are here and we will go around the country selling the same gospel. Thank you.